In the summer of 1969, the world was about to witness an event that would forever change the course of history. A moment that transcended nations, political ideologies, and even our understanding of human potential. On July 20th, 1969, humankind took its first steps on the moon. This is the story of Apollo 11, the mission that made the impossible possible. The Cold War was in full swing. Tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union were at their peak. But in the midst of this global conflict, both nations shared a common, unlikely obsession. Space. In 1957, the Soviets launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, into orbit, sending shockwaves through the world. The race to explore space was on, and both superpowers were determined to outdo each other. The stakes couldn't have been higher. On May 25, 1961, U.S. President John F. Kennedy set the bar even higher, declaring a bold goal for America, to land a man on the moon by the end of the decade. This was more than a mission. It was a challenge to the very limits of human ingenuity and ambition. July 16, 1969. The world watched as the massive Saturn V rocket, standing taller than a 36-story building, ignited on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Inside the spacecraft were three brave men, Commander Neil Armstrong, Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin, and Command Module Pilot Michael Collins. Their mission, to accomplish what no human had ever dreamed possible, travel to the moon, land, and return safely to Earth. Four days later, on July 20th, Apollo 11 reached the moon. The lunar module, aptly named Eagle, detached from the command module Columbia and began its descent toward the lunar surface. But the mission was far from over. The descent wasn't easy. Armstrong and Aldrin faced one of the most nerve-wracking moments of their lives. The moon's surface was rocky, the landing site was uncharted, and the computer guidance system was giving them trouble. Armstrong famously had to take manual control, guiding the module through a field of boulders to find a safe spot. And then, at 2.56 UTC, the world held its breath as Neil Armstrong's voice crackled through the radio. With those simple words, history was made. The eagle had landed, and for the first time, a human was standing on the surface of another world. Minutes later, Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. His first step was captured for all of humanity to witness, his words echoing around the world. These words, simple yet profound, are more than just a phrase. They symbolize the triumph of human curiosity, the pursuit of knowledge, and the relentless drive to overcome the impossible. Armstrong was soon joined by Buzz Aldrin. Together, they spent over two hours exploring the lunar surface, gathering samples, planting the American flag, and setting up experiments. Every footprint they left in the moon's dust was a testament to their courage and to humanity's boundless ambition. After a successful mission on the moon, Armstrong and Aldrin returned to the lunar module and ascended back into lunar orbit, where Michael Collins awaited them in the command module. But their journey was far from over. The final leg of the mission, returning to Earth, was filled with its own risks and challenges. On July 24, 1969, the Columbia re-entered Earth's atmosphere and splashed down safely in the Pacific Ocean. The crew was recovered by the USS Hornet, and a new chapter in space exploration began. The Apollo 11 mission fulfilled President Kennedy's dream, and it didn't just mark a moment in history. It ignited a global sense of possibility. The moon landing brought people together, united by the wonder of what had been achieved. For those who lived through it, the images of astronauts walking on the moon were more than just visuals. They were symbols of what humanity could accomplish when we set our sights beyond the stars. Yet, the legacy of Apollo 11 goes beyond technology and exploration. It showed us what we can achieve when we dare to dream, to reach for the impossible. It inspired generations to come, scientists, dreamers, and explorers who have since set their sights on Mars and beyond. Though no human has stepped foot on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972, the legacy of that first landing continues to inspire us. As we prepare to return to the moon with NASA's Artemis program and envision the future of human space exploration, we remember that it all started with one small step. A step that changed the course of history forever. On July 20, 1969, humanity didn't just reach the moon. We reached for the stars. And in doing so, we proved to ourselves that the boundaries of the impossible 
are only limits until we decide to break them.